I'm sure a lot of you have been scrolling TikTok lately and seeing these scary story videos absolutely blow up. Tens of millions of views, crazy engagement, and creators you've never even heard of pulling in insane numbers overnight. And here's the part that most people don't realize. TikTok is literally paying creators up to $1,000 for every million views. Now think about that for a second. One short video, barely a minute long, earning what some people don't even make in a week. But here's the catch. Almost no one knows how to actually create this content the right way. Most people fail because they don't know which AI tools to use, how to generate the stories, or even how to edit them so they stop the scroll and actually keep people watching until the very last second. That's why only a small handful of creators are dominating this niche right now, while everyone else is left confused, just watching from the sidelines. But what if I told you that you could do the exact same thing? And no, you don't need fancy equipment, you don't need editing experience, and you don't even need to be on camera. Because in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create these viral scary story TikToks from start to finish, using free AI tools and simple editing techniques that anyone can follow. And trust me, you're going to want to stick around because once you see how easy this is, you'll realize you've been sitting on one of the easiest ways to grow a TikTok page and actually make money online right now. All right, let's get started. Step number one. To make things easier, I've created a master template prompt in Google Docs that allows you to generate unlimited stories. You'll find the link to this template in the video description. The first step is to open ChatGPT. Once it's open, go back to the Google Docs file, copy the first prompt, and paste it into ChatGPT's prompt box. Then click Generate. ChatGPT will instantly understand the template and create a one-minute story for you. Read through the story carefully. If you don't like it, simply type next story in the prompt box and ChatGPT will generate a brand new, unique story for you. If the second story also doesn't seem interesting, so simply type next story and ChatGPT will instantly generate another unique story. This time, I find the story much more engaging, so I'll choose this one to work with. Now, let's go back to the Google Docs file to continue with the next step. Copy the second prompt and paste it into ChatGPT. As you can see, ChatGPT has understood our instructions and saved them within the conversation itself. Now open any text editor on your computer. I'll use notes in this example. Copy the story from ChatGPT and paste it into notes. Remove the timestamps and titles so only the pure story remains. Next, copy a small portion of the story text and paste it into ChatGPT. ChatGPT will convert that part of the story into an image prompt. Now, I'll copy the next part of the story and paste it into the ChatGPT prompt box. ChatGPT will once again convert this section into an image prompt. Now, convert the remaining parts of the story into image prompts, one section at a time. Take your time, consistency, and clarity matter. Paste each new portion into the ChatGPT prompt box, generate the corresponding image prompt, and repeat until the entire story has been covered. This step is crucial for the next stage of the process. As you can see, I've now converted the entire story into image prompts. With this step complete, let's move on to the next part. Step number two. First, search for Leonardo AI. Once you've opened it, click on the image option. You'll be taken to a new interface. On the right-hand side, set the model to Phonex 1.0. Then change the style to dynamic and set the image ratio to 916. After adjusting these settings, go back to ChatGPT, copy the first image prompt, 
and paste it into the Leonardo AI prompt box. Click Generate, and within a few seconds, Leonardo AI will create four new images for you. Next, return to ChatGPT, copy the second image prompt, and paste it into the Leonardo AI prompt box. Wait a few seconds, and again you'll receive four images based on that prompt. Repeat this process for each remaining image prompt, copying and pasting them one by one until your full story has been converted into images. Now, as you can see, I've used up all my available credits. But don't worry, you can still use Leonardo AI for free. Here's how. Sign out of Leonardo AI and search for TempMail on Google. Open any website that provides temporary email addresses. Copy the email you receive, then go back to Leonardo AI and click Continue with email. Enter the temporary email, create a strong password, use the same password in both fields, and click Continue. Leonardo AI will now ask for a verification code. Go back to your TempMail inbox, check for the email from Leonardo, and copy the code provided. Paste this code into the Leonardo AI verification box and click Continue. As you can see, Leonardo AI has now given us 150 free credits. By repeating this method, you can continue using Leonardo AI without any cost. Let's move forward with our progress. Now, I'm going to generate the remaining images. I'll copy each of the prompts from ChatGPT and paste them one by one into the Leonardo AI prompt box to convert them into images. This way, the entire story will be fully illustrated step by step. Here are all the images I've generated using Leonardo AI. As you can see, the results look amazing and capture the story perfectly. Each image is unique, detailed, and matches the prompts we created step by step. With these visuals ready, we now have everything we need to bring the story to life in the next stage. Step number three. Now, let's create a voiceover for our story. First, open Google and search for DubDub AI, then go to their website. The first step is to register using your email. Once you're logged in, click on AI voiceovers and you'll be directed to a new interface. Here, you'll see a script box. Go back to your notes. Copy the entire story and paste it into the script box in DubDub. On the left-hand side, you'll find an option called More Voiceovers. Click on that. A pop-up will appear where you can set the language, gender, and age of your character. From the available options, scroll to find scary content and choose a voice you like. For example, I'll select Tommy Murphy because I think it fits perfectly. But you can choose any voice that matches your style. Once you've made your selection, click Export, choose MP3 as the format, and then click Export again. Your voiceover will now be saved as an MP3 file, ready to use in your project. Step number four. Before moving to CapCut for editing, I'd like to explain the style of these videos. The editing is quite simple, mostly using character images without backgrounds, which are then keyframed to move from left to right. A slight shake effect is often added to make the scenes more dynamic and interesting. To get started in CapCut, open the app and import all the images you generated with Leonardo AI. Next, import the voiceover you created with DubDub, making sure to import it first so you can match the images to the story timing. Start by aligning the first sentence of the story, for example, this is true, with a simple dark background image. Proceed similarly with the other images, matching each scene to the storyline. Continue this process for all images. Next, I'll add a small hook image on the top layer of the timeline. Select the Background Remover option and choose Auto Remove to remove the background. To animate it, drag the image down to make it initially invisible, add a keyframe, then move forward a few seconds and drag the image to the center. A keyframe will be automatically added, 
creating an animation from bottom to center. To give the background a subtle shake effect, duplicate the image, remove its background, and apply the shake effect. Adjust the speed to 2 and strength to 4 or 5 to make it feel alive. Then make a compound clip, add a keyframe at the start, and zoom in. The end keyframe will be added automatically. For the next image, if Auto Remove doesn't work perfectly, select Custom Remover. Use the brush to remove specific parts as needed. Apply the shake effect to the background image and create a compound clip. Copy the attributes from the previous clip to add the same zoom in effect. Repeat this process for all remaining images, duplicating, removing backgrounds, and adding shake effects as required. Once all images are edited, Add captions by selecting your preferred style, placing them in the center, and adjusting the size. Next, go to Effects, apply the 8K effect across the video, and then apply the clear effect as well. Add background music. Due to copyright issues, I'll use a similar track instead of the original. Finally, export the video in 4K and your completed video is ready. This is true. In 1988, small towns across Maine reported a fog that appeared only at night, thick, silent, and moving like it was alive. People walking through it claimed to see figures inside, pale, faceless humans, standing perfectly still, staring. Their movements were jerky, unnatural. Local police said it was just dense mist. Newspapers ignored it, but soon, hikers started disappearing in the same area. One resident found a camera buried in the woods. The last frames showed her friends frozen mid-step, staring at something behind the lens, something that shouldn't exist. Leaked emails hint at government experiments with crowd behavior and temporal phasing, the fog possibly a testing ground. Witnesses swear they hear whispers inside the fog, names, warnings, even screams that echo far too late. No one knows why it returns or who watches from within, but when the fog rolls in, people vanish, always. And that's it. Your story is now fully brought to life with images, animation, captions, voiceover, and music. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching, and happy creating!